At runtime, we can swap between these two modes, streaming thousands of actors in and out, and enter into the dark world. Let's see this in action as we go back to Chance. This has to be the right way. We've made some great additions to our audio system as well. Convolution Reverb allows us to measure reverberation characteristics of real spaces, like actual caves that we sampled, and reproduce them in virtual spaces. Sound field rendering allows us to record and playback spatialized audio. All of this adds up to a more immersive experience. This swarm of bats was created with our Niagara effects system. Particles in Niagara can now talk to one another and understand their environment like never before. We've also added a ton of new functionality to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below. The demo runs on our chaos physics system. Here we are using it to accurately simulate the rigid bodies of the falling rocks and the cloth of her scarf. Now that the environment is so complex, we've needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact with the environment, we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the door. Sounds promising. Dynamic GI is amazing, not just for speeding up iteration, but also for its impact on gameplay. Nice Any touch. light source can move while it still having be. beautiful bounce lighting. Dynamic illumination means specular as well, which you can see on all the metal surfaces. You can even see the Niagara-powered bugs reacting to the light. Lumen not only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. Remember we mentioned high poly assets? This statue was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. No baking of normal maps, no authored LODs. And we can do more than a single statue. There are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room for a total of over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. Over this entire demo, there are hundreds of billions of triangles. So with Nanite, you have limitless geometry, and with Lumen, you have fully dynamic lighting and global illumination, all running on a PlayStation 5.
There's not much time left. And this doesn't need to be constrained to small rooms. It can stretch all the way to the horizon. The portal, it's open. What's next? Unreal Engine is at its best when users can express themselves without technical constraint. Like Nanite did for triangles or Lumen for a global illumination, Megalites removes limitation in a whole new category, direct lighting and shadows. Take, for example, these textured area lights, considered the gold standard of offline rendering. Here they are in real time, spilling vibrant color into the scene, casting soft shadows and illuminating the environment in a way artists simply couldn't have done before. And a whole new tool in the Creator's Toolkit is huge, but that's not the only way Megalites makes things better. Let's see what's next. So it looks like Echo has found herself in quite an interesting marketplace here, just about to open for the day. Let's turn on some of these shop fronts and see what's for sale. There's something missing, though. The scene, it's flat, it's undefined. Let's turn on shadows, but not just for a few important lights, for every single light in the entire view. From these main shop fronts to the screens, the displays, the flickering oil lamps, string lights, candles, signs, we're free to use whatever lights we need to tell our story and bring this beautiful environment to life. Now, the density of light sources you see here, it's extremely high. And this is what you get when artists are working playfully, without limitation. OK, let's go back to the scene. Victor, let's go further. Let's activate all these animated drones and robots, over 1,000 individual shadow casting light sources in this view alone. Wow, like little fireflies. All of these lights, they're movable, dynamic, scattering through the volumetric fog, and Megalites handles this impressive scene without missing a beat. As we continue on, it's worth mentioning that removing these limitations around light count and shadows, it doesn't just apply to point and spotlights, but to area lights as well. Megalites enables artists to use area lights as freely as they would any other light source. Now, whether you're using textured area lights, light functions, crisp shadows, or lovely soft shadows, you can have huge numbers of lights of any type in whatever configuration works best for your scene. Now, as we send Echo off on her next adventure, we should mention performance. 
What you've seen here is running live on a PlayStation 5. Megalites is included in UE55. It's an experimental feature in 5.5, and you can also check it out on the expo floor if you want a closer look at all the pretty pixels.